The migration problem is again taking centre stage in the UK, with the government announcing it will restrict welfare payments to foreign job seekers. The new measure comes amid a growing stream of migration to the country. 2013 saw a 30% increase over the previous year. Amid such a trend, the concern of locals is also on the rise, with recent polls showing 77% of UK citizens want immigration restricted. Well, contributor to The Telegraph, Tim Wigmore, says that's because people are frightened of having so many rivals for already scarce jobs. The most important is simply that with jobs being seen to be tight, anyone who's, you know, any sort of outsider is seen as a threat to that and it's, you know, an easy scapegoat. So I think as interestingly seeing now, there's some evidence that as the economy heals, concern about immigration is decreasing a little bit. And that's that's not surprising because as more and more people are in jobs that feel a little bit more secure, they're less inclined to sort of look for scapegoats to turn on outsiders. Immigration is also turning out to be a key issue in the run-up to EU parliamentary elections, with the anti-immigration rhetoric being used by the UK Independence Party in the hope of gaining votes. And polls show the policy is working, with the party's popularity growing. Well, Tim Wigmore says that today's announcement from the government is a clear attempt to claw back those votes from its new rival. For the general election 2010, um, the, pri the Prime Minister, well, now Prime Minister, um, he made a pledge to bring down net migration. That's the difference between people who come into the country, people who come out to under 100,000 by the end of, the, of this parliament. Um, and at the moment, he's completely failing to do that. So that's a big pressure on him to sort of be seen to clamp down on immigration. And that's, uh, as well, the right of his party are very angry about that, partly because they see that as a big reason for what the Conservatives are, le are losing votes to the UK Independence Party. And obviously the, the European elections are coming up on May 22nd, and a big fear is that a lot of kind of normal Conservative voters will, think will, will, will vote for them. It'll provoke a bit of a crisis of confidence in, in the Prime Minister.